Hi guys, how are you doing? So today we're going to talk about power supplies and in particular we'll take a look at the EVGA G3 and G5. Guys, you're building a gaming PC and I completely understand you forgetting about the power supply. You're more focused on the CPU and the GPU because you, know, you want frames per second. And as with RGB, a power supply doesn't add any value in terms of performance. Now the power supply is one of the most important things because it you know, puts power into your system and it also protects it. So if you've got a dodgy unit, you know, if there's a, a quick surge in electricity, then your power supply may not protect you. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Before you go out and you know, choosing a power supply, you need to know what wattage you need. Now, there are quite a few guides out there that you can look into, there's some websites as well. I'll link in the description a couple of websites which I've used, um, and they, they kind of set you off in, on the right path. I mean, it is possible to have a, a 2080 Ti with a, you know, an, an i7, or you know, a Ryzen 7, Ryzen 9 on a 550 watt. I wouldn't recommend it, but it's possible. Um, typically, when I'm when I've kind of got my my figure, you know, so I need a, say a five or six hundred watt power supply. So typically, I add about twenty or thirty percent to the uh, to the wattage that I've been given. This is so that the system can grow, and you know, you want a bit of headroom in case you want to overclock um, either the CPU or the GPU. Now there is a tier system out there, which is like an unofficial thing, and I'll put a link in the description, and that will kind of tell you how good power supplies are considered by the community. So your tier one kind of power supplies will be your, your big ones, your 1600s, and they're totally overkill. Now I typically go for a tier two or tier three, um, so I want a gold one, and I want it to be from a reputable manufacturer. So ordinarily I'll go for an EVGA, you know, a G, a G2, or G3, and obviously we've got a G5 now. If it's Corsair, then I really like the RMX series. The HX is, is very good, as well as the AX as well. Um, but obviously the AX is a platinum. There are a few different standards. There's the, the 80 plus, the 80 plus bronze, 80 plus silver, it's not very common, the 80 plus gold, and then the 80 plus platinum. Now, the best value is gonna be at gold, in my opinion. Um, that's usually where I sit. Let's pretend you're going for an EVGA G5 650 watt um, because someone at WebTech said it was all right. When you buy a better power supply, it, it's, it's many facets to that. So you'll get a warranty that's, that's better than, than normal. You know, so you might get a seven year or 10 year warranty and that's worth a lot. You're gonna get better build quality because they're, they're offering you that warranty in the first place. So they believe in the product that they've built. Um, it's going to have better QA, it's going to have better capacitors and better components. Um, so all these things you've got to think about. And one of the, the main things for me is better cables. So if you buy a cheaper unit with ketchup and mustard cables, not only does it, does it not look good, but it also brings down your credibility and your buying choices down as well. So someone will see that system, especially if you're selling it, and they'll think, he doesn't know what he's doing. So always get a good one, um, and then you'll kind of avoid a lot of the, the shortfalls that a cheaper unit will kind of uh, will bring you. So part of this video is to look at the G3 and the G5 units from EVGA. Now I've owned a G3 for quite a while and I've owned multiple units and I think they're very good. There was a slight issue with the G3 and the fan. You have it on eco mode. As soon as your system kind of draws any serious power, the fan kicks in seemingly to 100% and then it's just it's noisy and it's just it's not fun. I think they fixed that with the G5 and we'll kind of look at the results in a little bit, but that was the only downfall and it's the only kind of issue I've really found. Otherwise they're rock solid and I'd definitely recommend them. So what we'll do now is we'll have a look at some V-roll which I did the other day um, of the power supplies and um, yeah, let's go have a look. Guys, so as you can see, the, the units are very similar. They've kept them to the right dimensions for me. Um, you can you know, buy slightly bigger power supplies 
and they don't quite fit in your case. But with the, the G3 and the G5, um, really nice, going to fit into most cases and you're not going to have a problem there. <clears throat> I feel that the build quality is slightly less on the G5. I believe they've got a, um, a new manufacturer now. Previously it was Superflower is my understanding and now they've got whoever it is and I'll put it up on screen. It doesn't mean it's a bad unit at all. They've fixed the fan, which is fantastic. Um, and I'll put the figures up, which I've, um, which I've done. Um, it, it's considerably quieter when, when the fan's um, on eco mode. So that that's, that's what's a well done EVGA. You've you actually listened to people um, and you've put it right. So can I recommend one over the other? It's, it's hard to say really. It depends on what, you, what you're after. If you're after a, a quiet system, then the, probably the G5 is gonna be the one for you. The eco mode works as it should, whereas on the G3 it doesn't. But that said, you know, if you just have the fan turning as normal, then both are a similar experience. I think the build quality is slightly less on the G5, just from, from my observations, um, but it doesn't mean to say it's bad. If you can get one cheaper than the other, then great, go for that. But otherwise, um, yeah, you're not gonna make a, a bad choice by getting either one. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.